Hello everyone, welcome to another Lightroom Classic tutorial. In this video I want to focus on adding contrast to your landscape photos. So I got an image from Iceland right here. I already have applied some basic editing and color grading on this shot, but still this shot kind of feels very very flat and boring. By adding contrast we can obviously change that. Right away I want to show you my personal favorite way of adding contrast which is through the basic panel. Of course you have the contrast slider which just is adding overall contrast obviously. There are a few people who don't like adding contrast this way but I think this works quite good as a starting point. And as we are changing this slider you will notice the histogram is changing as well, so always be prepared for under or overexposure. Here for this image we already have a little bit of underexposure, so I'm going to dial down the contrast to prevent that. But of course there's also a different way of adding contrast through the basic panel. And that's something I do quite a lot, I would say for 99% of the images I work on. And that is by adjusting highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. Right now you can see I already have pulled down the highlights, that's because I want to get rid of the overexposure in the very left part of the image. If I pull it back up you can see we get some more contrast, but also the area on the left side becomes way too bright for my taste. So I don't want to adjust the highlights, instead I do want to bring up the whites here. So now we have adjusted the brightest parts. For even more contrast we can bring down the shadows and the blacks. Again, for all those sliders keep an eye on the histogram to not over or underexpose anything. But you can see dropping the shadows will improve the contrast quite a bit. Of course we can always balance it by adding some more whites or highlights if you want. Just like that. And of course you can also do this with the blacks slider. Just as the highlight slider this is very very dangerous to do because underexposure will kick in quite easily. I suggest to hold down the alt key and drag the slider down so you can see where the underexposure is appearing and then decide if you want to have it or not. In this case the underexposure is in an area which is not that important to the image. So I think reducing the blacks a little bit works quite well in here. Alright, so that is usually how I do add the contrast to my images. Let me reset those settings real quick, because there are a few other ways I want to show you. For example, you could even use the dehaze slider to add contrast if you want. This does work quite good, but this slider does also have a big impact on the colors of your image, so just be a little careful here. Actually for this shot this looks very very good. Then again let me reset the dehaze. Let's leave the basic panel and head into the tone curve. And this right here is one of the most popular ways to play around with the contrast of your images. I personally don't like it that much, but that has nothing to say about how useful this tool is. Just keep that in mind, because that is a very, very powerful tool. So in the background of the tone curve you can see the histogram of the image. And just like I did with the sliders back in the basic panel, I can drop the blacks by picking the point for the blacks and just drag it to the right. And you can see we will end up with underexposure, but also with a bit more contrast. I can do the same on the highlights by dragging this point to the left and again end up with a bit of overexposure. So you can see a very basic way to add contrast here would be to drag the point for the highlights to the left and the point for the legs to the right. And there's actually no under or overexposure in here so that's looking quite good. Of course we can further adjust things with this line. So let's just click in the middle. That's our point for the midtones. You can make them brighter by dragging them up or you could make them darker by dragging them down. I think for this shot having a little darker midtones does look quite good. So let's bring them down just a bit. Then we can further add contrast by adding another point on the right side of the midtones and carefully dragging it up. This will change the darker tones as well as you can see when closely paying attention to that line in the tone curve. So just keep that in mind. Alright then let me reset those settings here. And let's head over to the next way of adding contrast. So in the HSL panel we do have the luminance settings. 
which is basically the brightness of each of those color tones. So how can we add contrast with those sliders? For example, up there in the sky, we have a very big blue part on the right side. We can make this darker by bringing down the blue luminance. And thus the image feels like it has a little more contrast. So next, there is this green grass in the foreground, which gets hit by the sunlight. Here it would make sense to just bring up the luminance. So here we have some yellow tones, some green tones and some orange tones. So if I turn it off now, you can see we did add some contrast as well. It just kind of works more locally since we only have blue in the sky and green and yellow and orange here in the grassy thing in the foreground. So if you have been watching some of my videos, you will have seen me dropping the blue luminance to make the sky just a little darker and thus adding contrast to the image. This is a very helpful way, but this will not work for every shot. So again, let me reset the luminance settings right here. Then there is another way in the color grading tab. To find it here in the color grading tab is kind of strange, but it works similar to the basic panel. Up there we have the shadows, the midtones and the highlights. Of course, you can change the color tones, but you can also change the luminance of those three settings. So let's say we want to make the shadows darker. I'm in the shadows color wheel. And down here you have a slider called luminance. Just like in the HSL panel, bringing down the luminance will make the shadows darker right here. Just like that. And again, be careful, check the histogram to not underexpose too much. Just like that maybe. We do have the same slider for the midtones and the highlights. So let's say you want to bring the midtones up a little bit. Just like that. And of course we do have the highlights, which I can also bring up a little bit. But again, here I need to watch out for overexposure, just like that. And thus we have added contrast by using the color grading panel. So those were the three basic ways of adding contrast using Lightroom. Of course, this can be done in the camera raw editor as well if you prefer that one. So if you have any questions about this video, let me know in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.